Right, back out digging. And today, it's going to do a good old fashioned one day hand digging. No wheelbarrows, no JCBs, just a one day, as we all love, dig. Found fresh pretty quick, two layers, there's a hard capping above it, it's quite modern 1930s, below it it's quite a bit earlier, maybe 10-15 years earlier. So plod away, it's going to take me an hour or two to get the loose off. Um, but looks interesting. Alright, we uh, seem to have hit the uh, bottom at this part of the site. Um, mixed mixed uh, feelings about how it's going. Got our bottles and jars, a jam jar there, sauce bottle there, another sauce bottle there. <laughs> Wakefield. J J B sauce Wakefield. So it's all sort of stuff I'd expect. Another bit of a bottle sticking out there. Uh, couple of bits I've had out earlier. It's a poison bottle. It nibbled. And uh, a beer from the Spring Springwell Brewery Limited Etmond Wyke. Lovely clean glass. Uh, so I'll just start running along bottom now, take it out and see, it looks alright. I'm certainly being entertained today. Every sauce and relish and essence known to man seems to be coming out. Uh, very nice clean glass. Um, Nice seam, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the dark under there too well. There's a bottle sticking out. I know what it is, it's a John Smith's Tadcaster, the very, very well embossed bottle. Yeah, a superb, well embossed John Smith's Tadcaster brewer. Eh? You can see other bottles stuck in there, another. Another sauce with a hole in it. It's a tiger sauce. There are uh, some coloured variations on here, some nice colours, so hopefully I'll get some of them. Just turns an ordinary sauce into something more interesting. It's got a buzz of excitement then, thinking it were a cream pot, but I think it's just a common, yeah. A viral. Hello. A couple of more bits come in now. It's another John Smith's, a small size half pint beer. Um, got a nice ink. It's quite a big one, ribbed with a flat panel, I suppose, was there to take a label. It's a shame it isn't embossed. So Haywood's Pip Brothers, pickle jar, underestimated things like that, really nice when they're cleaned up. Another tiger sauce, small size. It looks like a cod or a cylinder or something sticking out. It is, it's a cod. Ryder Brothers Wakefield. Two cream pots come out right next to each other. Plenty more bits and bats coming up. Every shape of ink you could want, except the one that you really want. 
essences, coffee, sauces. Keep going, keep going. It's another one of them inks I had earlier, but that's actually got the label on. Uh, superior black ink, it says. Um, it's had another viral, a big size, well, a middle size one. Interesting little bottle. Alfred Moody, wine merchants, Wakefield. Some sort of wine essence, I suppose. Um, more sauces, wines. Tunnel. Right, I think it's about enough for today. Uh, just wade in with a few more little bits on running. There's a tipper ink. Come out modern on top, I think. Little bits and bats of all sorts. Medicines, poison bottles, a few bits, more stuff, pots. Basically a load of rubbish, but good fun digging. Nothing of any great uh, excitement, but not bad for a while. It's, uh, about five, six hours entertaining, if nothing else. Right, beginning at video. Um, said that we're going to have a one day hand dig. And we'll have to go in away and thinking about it, as you often do wisely or unwisely have changed his mind so now it's become a two day dig. Uh, got all top off, caps, nasty capping, some clay there, some nasty rubble there and then below that it's ash all the way down. Uh, I reckon it's about 10 foot here, it's quite deep so we'll see what we get. Oh and uh, I won't be hand digging either got the trusty old barrow with us today. Just starting to get under capping, there's a few bottles appearing, that looks like a, I think it's a Maltine or something. Yeah, the Maltine manufacturer, manufacturing company even, nice clean glass. Um, there's a bottle just under, one thing with these cappings they do protect the bottles so you can see that's still got the label on it. It will perish when it dries out but it's just liquid ammonia. Few bits coming up. Local chemist, Billington Chemist Wakefield. Large size juvies, eight ounce. Very interesting thing, really very, very strange looking thing. It's like got a blob top, blown body, pontled underneath, or some sort of crude manufacture. No embossing on it. Very strange thing. Oh, it's a nice sight. Even after years of digging, seeing a bit of blue glass that have been thrown out in a tin can. Something nice about them things. After years of digging, you still like them. Pot lid, cherry toothpaste. It was for wear, looks like it's been kicked all the way to tip it. We're thrown down in rubble, that's what scuffed it up, I think. Another viral. Actually, looks like a bit of hoarder virals. There's been loads of smacked up ones as well. Uh, if you can see down it back at all there, there's actually one there. Yet. There's actually a few. Looks like another one there. Another viral. Looks like a little small size one there as well. 
No, 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 no. It's actually a cream pot. Kiosk, Cass, Caff, even, Wakefield. So I'm going to chase in there because it looks like you don't get a clear out like that just from an house. It could be an hotel or some sort of establishment. Could be a few more bits. Okay, um, the ovens have opened, so it's time to go home. Uh, it seemed never here. Uh, came to much more than a few brock more virals. Uh, I did get a few early looking beers, but alas, no writing on them. Uh, a few more blues, bit poisons. Um, so not not a bad do. Uh, you just got the flagon at the end. Um, There is a slight airline, I think, on it, but if you're watching Nev, you might just want to sit down. You sat. Looks pretty good, apart from a vague airline, probably clean out, but I'll just round, rounds off a decent dig. Um, now I've just got to carry stuff half mile back to the car.